This is where you're gonna break out your Sharpie. Give it a little scribble on something, make sure it's working. Okay, so I can go over all of my lines or just some of them. This is where you really need to have something separating the top paper. Otherwise the Sharpie, as you know, is gonna bleed right through. So I can go over some of my lines. Ooh. Try to be careful, stay inside the border. Um, I want this line to be thick, so I'm gonna color that in. If you have a different kind of black pen that you prefer to use, you're welcome to. I know a lot of you really like the Uniball pens. You can see the difference. That gives you a little bit more control. It doesn't bleed so much, but um, the Sharpie is fine. If that's all you have, then that is totally fine. Correcting myself a little bit there. Okay, so I've got a thick line. Some diagonal lines. These are all thin. Watch what I'm going to do with my horizontal lines. Um, first, I'm going to use the Sharpie this time. I'm going to outline this little shape. Um, I'm going to use textured lines. I'm going to use broken lines. They're still horizontal, but they're textured. Okay, so before I start outlining all of my lines, I'm going to go ahead and do <clears throat> some of my colored pencil techniques. So I'm gonna take blue and yellow, for example, and I'm gonna do some graded, graded shading. So I'm gonna start with some dark blue. If you're worried about going out of your lines, you can always put a piece of paper or your student ID there to keep your lines straight. Okay, so I'm gonna shade that out so it, gets, it goes from dark to light some tonal gradation here. And then I'm gonna take my yellow and do a little blending. I'm going to keep going just like that <clears throat> in all of the sections until I have the whole thing covered with cool Zen Tangle patterns and designs in black ink. And then also the whole thing is going to be filled with color. 